Hi guys, it's Jess here and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're going to do a January plan with me. This is in the Erin Condren Vertical Neutral and I'm going to do this planning world kit for January and it has rose gold foiling. So I'm using my rose gold um, coiled planner so you get a ton of sheets and lots of plenty foiling. These two don't have foiling but super pretty. Just heaps and heaps of stickers in this kit so it'll be really great. I'm actually working off my normal planner which is this is what it looks like. I used a Scribble Prints Co kit in this and I just felt like you know, doing it on my own so that's how it looks in that planner. But we are going to do this one and let's just get into it. So the first thing we're going to do of course is the top and the January is in a beautiful foil. This is my first time ever using a foil sticker so <laughs> I'm going to be very very careful here. You can't really pull these back up. You have to use undo if you want to and I'm almost out of undo so I'm just going to do it carefully. There we go. Oh so pretty. So I wanted to try out sort of different stores weekly kits here in my second planner not like a, a monthly kit smackdown like holly plans does but just if there's a kit that i like by another store i will check it out i'll buy it and put it in and i really liked the way this one looked because i love i love the golden word balloons kind of thing and i didn't have any clip art of this so any stores with this clip art so I decided to pick this up, um, so that was very easy, the top is done, here we go, I think, I think this is the entire sidebar, so what way should we do it, so she's got like a pink, a peach and a grey, maybe put the grey in the middle, so we'll do the peach first, Never, I'm not that great at this. <laughs> the goals does show through, but that will be all right. Hope the video is okay. I've noticed, um, even though it is summer, it's been really cloudy and rainy here lately, so the lighting hasn't been perfect for filming. But we just have to live with it. Uh, maybe I can bump up the saturation after. So then we also have these um, we have these time days that are not in this month, and we have this really cute foiled lacy boxes on a taupe background. So let's put these in super fast. Oop. Perfect. And then the last one. There we go. There you go. Now I get the proper base down, and she's also got a New Year's Day, and this will be my year. So I'll put New Year's Day obviously on the first. And I also love how this has some foiling and the really pretty pink champagne bottle. Then where should I put this? Will be my year. Let's have a look. Hmm. I don't want to put it over this side. I want to put, I'll put it here in the 13th. That'll be fine. So we go. This will be my year and news day. So we've actually finished up two of the sheets. Alrighty. So, should we go day by day? The third. Um, yeah, I'll just keep it open, shall we? You know, unless you guys want to be... I just realized I still have more sidebar stuff to do. So let's get in. So she has these uh, very pretty foiled words that can go on here. So resolutions, goals, notes, finances, important work, school to do, appointments, reminders. 
So I'll probably put work. Maybe you should do a longer word up the top. So I'll put work here. The second one. I'm going to leave the clipboard top all free. Then I'll put in important up the top here. And then the last one, I'll just do finances. Because this month I really have to figure out my archive trip, so that'll be interesting. So we got those done. So now we can do the day by day. I should just do this half and I'll do the next half. I think that will work. Okay, so the third, I'm going to use a skinny label for it, a black one. Maybe I'll write on here. I have to go back to work, so technically. So I think I'm going to do one of these uh, exclamation marks with the foil. Put that there and then say back to work. Put that on the third. So yeah, January 2nd is the holiday in lieu of New Year's Day. So work technically starts on the 4th. I think I'm going to use a big box for this one. And on the 4th, my mum is coming in from interstate. And I'm going to, I haven't seen her for a while since my birthday in October. So I'm going, we're having Christmas dinner together. So maybe I'll put in a half box with the bottle and some glasses. Just put that on gently and then say. There we go, I got Xmas dinner down. So the ninth, I'm going to do another work related thing. Um, my supervisor gets back from her annual leave on the 9th, so I'm just going to write that she is back. Alright, I have that done, but I also have a bill due, so I'm just going to sort of lift up that corner and put in this bill due on top. Um, and this is for... Not a, lot, not a lot of room to write in here. This is for Adobe. And it's 18 bucks. Yes, because I do actually pay for Photoshop. First time in my life. <laughs> yes, uh, don't judge me. You know you also pirated Photoshop. <laughs> um, but yeah. I pay for it now, legally. So that's pretty good. They have... You can subscribe for their creative cloud and students are only 18 Australian dollars. Then on the 11th I have, this is for both SPC and GP, Glam Planners Monthly. Um, uh, you know, their monthly mystery kits. <laughs> Trying to remember what I was going to say. Alright, we got some TV coming on. I've only got. I think there's only two TVs in her icons. So I know what I can do for one. So the first TV I want to put down, I'll put the gold TV icon on, is for Legends of Tomorrow, and I'll just write the Legends. And for in Australia, that's for the 23rd. Okay, and then the 25th has Supernatural. So I've got these, um, let me put that one. I have these Supernatural stickers from Fox and Cactus. And I'm just going to put a little Dean and a little Sam down for that. Um, we'll just, we'll do a black one because, you know, it's 
so soon. I just place them a little bit over the top, but don't press them down. Now, right. All right, so my little supernatural dudes are down. I, I don't know. I just have a terrible addiction to supernatural. Don't even ask. I recently rewatched the entire series, so I'm crazy. Then on the 31st, we have the 100. Yeah, I've only looked up the CW returns. Not the other channels, so that's all that's gonna go in here for now. And then I do have another build you. Um, what do I have in this corner? A black one. So build you on the 29th. And that is for Netflix. So I think that's actually all of this side done. So let's turn her over. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we have my paydays on Thursdays. So the first one is on the 5th. So I'm going to use these cute payday foil flags. I'm just going to put this to the side because it'll make it easier. So the 5th and the 19th. I realize they're a day off flag, so I'm going to put one here in the second. That's technically a day off. Um, I think that's it. Ooh, glossy. Ooh, shiny. I might have to buy it. Uh, maybe, I don't know if I've been completely swayed over to foil stickers just yet. But we'll see how it goes. So payday, but also going to mark. Do I have a money sign of some sort? No, I don't. Um, I'll use one of these and I'll do the asterisk. And I'll do the peach. Just put that there and I'm going to mark my top up. So basically with my PhD I have a full scholarship but because my research coincides with this research center I was able to apply for a scholarship top up so I'm getting an extra lot of money for the next two years which is awesome. You always want a bit extra money. I mean the real benefit of this top up scholarship is that I get money for research like a lot more money. So my archive trip is basically paid for as are my conferences. So that is awesome. <laughs> I have another bill due on the 7th. And that is for Stan. Stan is like the Australian version of Netflix. And I actually think they do a lot better job than our Netflix, to be honest. Um, not a lot else to go. I think on the 27th, I want to put in a full box for Rachel's birthday. So my friend from uni, she did honors with me and then she applied for a PhD with me, so that's really awesome. Her birthday is on the 27th, so I want to remember that. And I'm just going to get something for her to mark her birthday. So I have these balloons from Scribble Prints Co. What balloons will work? Um, maybe these grey balloons. Oh no, these peach balloons. So I'm going to put these peach balloons in like that. But then I'm also going to use a foil sticker because why not? Just put a foil heart right next to that. So that's Rachel's birthday. And then I do actually have something due that day so I'm just going to right on the paper with the alarm clock. So I have an abstract that 
that I really want to apply for a conference due that day, so I put that in there. So I might as well mark Chinese New Year. Um, yeah, I'm Chinese, but I still think it's nice to mark. Well, I'll use uh, as foil as I can, asterisk. Here's New Year. Yeah, that's it. So let's open her up and then do some decorating in the date numbers. That's how we're looking so far. I am going to do all these date numbers. I don't need number one. So I'm just going to do that and um, I'll just cut back to when I finished it because you don't really need to watch me doing them all. <laughs> so I'll be right back. Okay, all the numbers are in and I really sort of boost the spread up. It definitely looks less, you know, a bit <laughs> um, bare. So I've got this deco left and I want to put this in. So maybe I'll put these. Where do I put these girls? Maybe in the important bit, just there, and then I'll put 2017 over this Chinese New Year, and then maybe I'll put these glasses on top of top upstarts, and yeah, firework. Alright guys, that's all the deco done and I think I'm all finished. Let me have a look at these icons one last time. No, I think that is it. Plus these are pretty standard colors. I could probably use these elsewhere. So let's have a look at what you have left. This blank page used all of this page. There are quite a few of these rose gold left, but you know, I can use them in any spread. Have some appointment labels, vacation strips, and the council rescheduled. They can go in the back. And then I have some boxes, this month's reading, build, yeah, and a whole lot of icons left. But overall, I think the spread is looking really good. It's, uh, you know, i got a lot of work to do this. Uh, this month and then next month is a bit more exciting because I'm going to New Zealand for a week but I hope you guys enjoyed this video I really did enjoy using this kit there was definitely everything that I wanted um, and the foiling does make it pretty special especially for a new year so I probably will be looking out for her other monthly kits in the future if you'd like to see them definitely give this a thumbs up uh, comment below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time, and I hope you have a happy new year. Um, I'll see you guys later. Bye.